This is a glass. See, it's very well 925. This is going to be gray. And yes, there's no. There's a little gray in there. There's no red. Okay. See? I believe you. See mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, we're crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. Yeah. This is glass, crystal, very pretty, cold, purple. Love to find purple jewelry. Here's another wedding ring. This one looks real. Yep, it's marked nine two five. And it's marked something else in here. Mexico TA21 something. So this might be a Taxco ring. Fits me. Must be a six or six and a half. No, it's a seven. A seven and a quarter. It's a little loose on me. Yeah, that's loose. Comes off too easy. So yeah, that's that's a seven. Seven and a quarter. What did I say? I, I wrote seven and a quarter. Okay, yeah, seven and a quarter. Definitely is. It's over seven. Next is a very cool shark's tooth. Ooh. I know who'd like that. Mm -hmm. Dalton. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Or Samantha. Yeah. One of them. Shark's teeth. The next is, this is where the tag was, I think. Still wrapped all up in it. Pretty little bracelet. So turquoise, you've got gold, you've got these beautiful fasted um, gunmetal colored beads, more gold. These are mint green and clear. Very pretty bracelet. We have an adjustable ring that's a butterfly. It's a magnesite stone. Very cute like that. Right now the size it's adjusted to is a six. That's why I could wear it. Keychain with some charms on them. Uh, we appreciate you. And little stars. And hearts. Across and that looks like headphones. I don't know. No, it's a doctor's uh, stethoscope. stethoscope. Yeah. Well, isn't that nice to give to your doctor? No, I appreciate mine, all of mine. I don't have, wouldn't have enough of those to give out. This is cute little charm bracelet. Here's a shoe. And I don't know, a box car, a lantern, a bell. Looks like two people sleeping. That's cute. This is a fun charm bracelet. Now, where's the class? It escapes me. There it is. Spring ring class. I don't see any markings on it. It's not, well, that's magnetic. Now this little box car is magnetic. That's a cable car. That shoe isn't. That bell is. That lantern is. The people in bed are not. They almost look like aluminum though. And this chain is not. I don't know if it's extremely tarnished or it's antiqued 
or if it's just something else. It is brass, from what I can see. Little brass charm bracelet. Here's a pretty little heart ring with little CZs in it. Come on, is that one missing? I don't know, I have to check. It looks like there's one missing. Yes, it's missing. So this is gonna go on the craft lodge. Pretty little ring. Here's a little hair thingy for a ponytail. And we'll put that in the hair thing over here. Oh, stones. Here's a piece of amethyst. I think this is marble. I think. I don't know. Could be something else. I have a rock collection. Here's a little uh, a cutie. You're a cutie. I know who needs to wear that. <laughs> little purple. Yeah, Samantha. Then she can pass it to her sister. Mm -hmm. When she gets tired of it. Here's a little heart with little swirls. Very pretty. Not magnetic. It looks like pewter to me. Yeah, it's got a um, copper base, but it's very pretty. That's why the silver, I think, is a little dull. Puffy heart, bend it. Here's a beautiful beaded. Looks Native American design. It's very pretty, like that. Here's a ring. Got the halo of halo design where the tiny rhinestones surround the single cut center cut stone, round cut. Say size seven and a quarter. It's very beautiful. That halo makes the stone look larger than it is from a distance. Ooh, this is a beautiful cross. Mm -hmm. This feels like stainless steel. Oops, wrong, wrong side. Yeah, this is stainless steel. Very heavy. Bezel cut. I don't see any markings on it, and I'm surprised because it's so pretty. I don't see anything in the bell. That is beautiful. I've shown that too. Here's another ring. Lord, what was $80? I don't know. It was on there and I didn't take it off, so. It wasn't this thing. It's all beat up. It's all, I mean, it's silver tone, but the copper's coming through. So I know it wasn't that. See, the copper's completely come through on this end. Silver underneath. So I'm going to put that in the craft lot, this copper ring, once you get all that silver off. We have a South Carolina, the Palmetto State as we're known, keychain, we have a little stretchy but beautiful shiny, a little cold. These are very cold. I don't know if they're glass or if they're quartz. Beautiful blue color threaded through there so it brings some blue. And these are, this one's marked with four ocean. 
So this is the one that they uh, sold to save the ocean. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up the ocean. I think they made it out of the stuff they... Yeah, they recycled. The plastic yeah. cycles. Yeah. That's beautiful. I'm going to save that for Kaylee. We'll yeah, save She'll that. She'll like that. For Kaylee. This is FPE. I don't know what that stands for, but it's a nice little bracelet. You can just put all these together, honey. Okay. This was going in the craft lot. It's fuzzy. Lord have mercy, it's dusty. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. That's the one you tie on. I'm going to put it in the craft lot. Here's another one, and I believe this is a silver clasp, and there's a little cross there that's got 925 on it. I sorry, are you yawning? Nope. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's past our bedtime. <laughs> but that's a cute little bracelet that sterling silver, so 925, honey. Got it. Ooh, Coco Chanel. That's the sign, that's the design. It's 925. It's too big for me. Well. It is a size. Eight and a quarter. I haven't tested those stones. Let's see if it's really 925 like it says it see is. It's magnetic. I know, but I'm going to do this too. Because I'm going to have to know anyway. It's not magnetic. Let's see what this says on the side. Five S, it says. Whatever that means. And that's all the markings I see. Hmm. I don't think it's nine two five. I think it's a fake. You don't mean. I mean it. I think there's a fake diamonds in there. I think it's a fake Chanel. And here we go. Yep. No shutting my mouth. That's a fake. on fire. I like it though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's birdie. Okay. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Part of a necklace that was very pretty. Yes it was. And it was signed Napier. Oh, look at there. That tag's coming with me. This is coming with me. You may find the rest of it in one of the other jars. I know, so I know where it is. Where I put my tag jewelry. Here's another little ring where the coppers come through. Or it just looks copper. Hmm. Ooh, no, it's uh, not copper. Very tarnished. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Okay. Somebody to play with. Here's a pretty little pen. It looks like fish and duck and something else. And here's the back. And it's not magnetic. Or a pewter. I know that's what I'm thinking. Oh, come on. 
with a compass. And it's got the S for south. Okay, let me test it. I think it's pewter. I think you're right. But we'll see. We shall see. Take a sip. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to all that trouble for me. Mm-hmm. Yep, pewter. Take a sip. All right, I'm taking a sip. Here is a glass fasted bracelet. It's got BEB there on this little disc. I think that's the designer. BEB. Very pretty, very cold. I don't know if this is glass or stone. It's faceted. We have another little rose quartz pendant. And we have another aluminum piece. It's um, handcrafted. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Beautiful beads. Quantity of five. They're very heavy. Very pretty. I'm going to put them over here on the speed lot. I really want to. Okay. This has got initials on it that can be buffed off. It's got KDM on there. Just in case anybody has those initials. Yeah, it's still um, magnetic. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. That's fine. Maybe the person who gets it can have the capability of getting it buffed. <clears throat> Here's a little ring, a knot ring, a knot ring. It's not a ring. It no, it's cute. a knot ring. Seven and a half. Very pretty. And I don't see any marks. Is it magnetic? No, I didn't think it was. It's very lightweight. Sometimes silver is made very light. No, it's very much got a copper base. And then we have a little adjustable ring here with a little elephant. Very cute. It's got a little bit of wear on it. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Ooh. Very plastic piece I'm going to put in the craft lot. And hair piece. I'm going to put in the hair piece bag over here because it looks like it's been worn. Oh, here is says Tokyo. It's a pretty little charm piece. I'll put that in the craft lot. I haven't seen a rabbit's foot in eons. Is that a real one? Probably. Craft lot. <laughs> I love rabbits. Here's a little silicone ring. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Here's a little cross charm. Here's the other side of it, and here is a, oh, this is a horse and it's a pendant. Here's the other side of that. It's got some markings on it. The gold is so shiny I can't read it. D, P, I, N, D, Pinch. Depinchot, Depinchot, 1978, 14K. Wow. 
must have been the horse that won the race or something. See, it's D, and it's P-I-N-C-H-O-T. 1978, and then the 14 carat is right there. And then there's two little stones in there, too. And they look like they're, um, those look like they are sapphires. Yeah, I'm going to have to test that, too. Okay, these are spinels in the eyes, blue. And this weighs three grams, 14 karat gold. Awesome. So you did write that on the bag, right? I did. Here is a very thin bangle. It is uh, aluminum. aluminum, thank you. Okay. Here's a silver one with little rhinestones. I'm looking for a maker. I don't want to miss anything. Sometimes those can be, okay, it's magnetic. And that one's magnetic, very curvy, and very worn. I'm putting that in the uh, half lot. You can put these two up. Here's a little wooden bamboo one. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Okay. That are the kids' craft lot. This is a little stretchy bracelet with fasted black beading or stone or it's acrylic. Very pretty. It's in good shape. I'm I'm too poop to put. And I'm a golf nut. <laughs> Those are cute. Old. Yeah. Those are good. Keep those. South Carolina State flag. Palmetto State. It's also a pendant. It's got MD on the back. I don't know what that is. The maker. That's our colors. Gamecock colors. Mm -hmm. Red and black. From Garnet. the University of South Carolina. Garnet. Burgundy and... Garnet. Garnet and black. Garnet. Garnet is red, yeah. It's not red, it's garnet. Garnet and black. Trust me. Here's a little sweet. These are very expensive. They're uh, sweet grass baskets. And the ladies downtown make them. They make these beautiful baskets out of this. But this is some of the jewelry that they have. Very pretty. Here's your Gamecock. For all you Gamecock fans, it can be a pendant or a, a pin. The Fighting Gamecocks. And then we have this pretty swirl pin here that needs some cleaning. I don't see any name on it. I'm looking down in here. It's in good shape. Like I said, it just needs cleaning. Gosh, I don't know. What is that? What kind of bird is that? I don't know. It's like a, it almost looks like a pterodactyl to me, but it's no. not. I mean, just the face. Yeah, no, yeah. Is it an eagle? No, just gosh, no. Yeah, it's something. It's a bird. That's, it's yeah. a plane. No, it's Superman. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Here's some pretty little seed bead crosses. Earrings. Very beautiful. Here's the backs. It's very pretty. Those are gorgeous. like those. Here's a little bracelet. Wood panels that have these. Those are carvings because I can feel them. They're rough. It's very cool looking. Great shape. 
And then here's a two-tone. This is acrylic on one side. I don't know, it could be loose side or, or uh, Bakelite. Beautiful color of teal. And then the wood on this side. This is beautiful. Very unusual. Not ever seen a wooden bracelet like this. Very pretty. Okay, and we have this little pendant we're looking for. It's not a pendant. It's part of a stretch bracelet. We're looking for the little stone. We're gonna put that in the craft lot. And that was a tangle I didn't get undone. And this is a tangle he didn't get undone, but we're just going to look at it. It's a little pendant with a little disc. Very minimalist. It's in great shape except the tangle. Yeah. And it's got a little tag on it. S S H A or S M A. SHA is on the tag. I don't know what that is. So that's it for now. I've got to go through the earrings and I'll be back with what I find there. Okay, I've finished going through the earrings. And in the earrings, I found this sterling silver cross pendant. Here's the back, and it says sterling on the back. Avante is the uh, maker. I found this little pendant and it's diamonds and 10 karat gold. Very pretty. I found these pair of earrings. They look very copperish. I'm not sure that they are copper. Yeah, they're not magnetic. So they're copper earrings, post. Um, I did get the knot out of this pretty little necklace here. Right there. It's a minimalist. There was this little um, pin here, tack pin. It's missing one stone. And then there were these tack pins. Gold and silver bars. There was this little pendant, Mother Pearl. We had this ring. And it's also marked 925 in there. Right there. I love it here on this. I don't know that it is. Take a, yeah, see, it's Mark 925, but it's not. It doesn't rub 925. Come on. It's even got little stones in here. In the belt buckle part of it. I need to test those. Let me test those quickly. Okay, so they're not uh, diamonds or anything. They're just little CZs in there. Like I said, it's Spark 925, but it's not. Very disappointing. I'm not sure what this is. It's a little clamper. Clamps onto something. It's very old. I didn't see any marks on it. I have a little tack pin of the American flag. Here's the back. Here's a little charm with a globe. Here's uh, some kind of button. Here's a little Pikachu pool, I believe.
Here is a button that is a rhinestone or a rivoli. It's a button. Here's a G tack pin. Here's some tube beads. Very ornate. Here's a little star's charm that says, I wish. Here's a ring. Looks like a wedding ring. I don't see any marks in it. None at all. A cuff, a single cuff. Tie tack, little feet. Another tie tack, uh, the back part. Here's an S pin. Here's another pair of little earrings. They're clip ons. Little black hearts. Very cute. A little sterling silver cross. It's got one, two, three on it. Or the father of the. Let's see what that says. H I N. Sorry, here's the back. 1886. Two little stretchy bracelets in good shape. Another little uh, wood pendant. Another little pendant that looks like part of the Taj Mahal to me. Very pretty. Almost looks like a chess piece, too. And we had this many single earrings with our matches. Just a ton of earrings. And we had a lot of loose beads in there. We put these in the craft lot. Big, big beads too. Pretty beads. These are going in the craft lot. And uh, that's it for this jar. So thank you guys for watching our video. Daryl's already gone. And uh, we will see y'all in the next video. Thank you to my subscribers and, and new people. If you enjoy these kind of videos, share with your friends that enjoy this kind of video too. I'm still continuing to try to grow my channel. The next jewelry jar giveaway will be at the 800 mark. And uh, we're just starting our journey to the 800 mark. So have a blessed evening and we'll see y'all on the next jewelry jar opening. Bye.